Hey, darlings. Come on in. Come grab a drink, coffee, whatever you like. My home is yours. Come on in. Wrap around the tree. Wrap up in me blankie, just in case. We're going to do a reading, but before we do, before we do, my darling, I got your email when I woke up this morning. I think there's a huge time change. So when you sent it, I'm sorry. I was probably in dreamland. But I hope you're okay. God love you, darling. You wonder what your purpose is in life? You say, I know, I feel I have a purpose, but I, I don't know what it is. And the reason you don't know what it is, and most of us don't know what it is, is because we're too busy searching for it. And just just right right there, right in front of your face, you reach out and touch it. It's, it's right there for the taking, your purpose. Everything in life is right there for the taking. But we've all on different frequencies. We're all on different levels. All vibrating at different levels. Your purpose and how you think you probably going crazy and people think you're crazy and all that. Well, <laughs> you know what? Number one, the hell with what anybody else thinks. Number two, what do you think? And number three, you're asking me, what do I think? I think, <laughs> I think, darling, that you're a spiritual person. And I think you're awakening. That's what I think. And there may be a little bit of Kundalini awakening there, which, uh, oh, geez, prepare yourself for that. Go out on YouTube, punch in Kundalini Awakening, and you will see that I, I just pr thank God that I've had Spirit with me ever since I can remember. He's Ever since I was a small child, Spirit has been with me, and so I never had to go through a Kundalini Awakening. The ringing in the ears, yeah, I have that all the time. Sometimes one ear, sometimes the other ear, sometimes both ears, that's, that's just spirit that's all that is don't even freak out about that this is wow spirit talking listen feel feel the vibration get your vibration up to that vibration but kundalini awakening um can attack the nervous system to the point where you think that you're you could possibly be like going absolutely mad. That's Kundalini awakening. Nobody ever does go absolutely mad, but the world will think that you're one strange individual. <laughs> but that's okay, because you know where you are. That's all that matters. You know where you are. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, a, a, it's, an, it's an awakening I would never wish upon anyone because it is, it is tower, is what it is. It is a, it's emotional breakdown. But the rewards at the end of it are freaking incredible. You, you could be aiming for something really big, really, really big. And the first thing to do is to understand what's happening to you. And you will awaken and see exactly what's going on. So, fasten your seatbelt, Dorothy. <laughs> You're in for one hell of a ride. <laughs> you ever need me, I'm here. And on that note, your purpose? What is your purpose? You're awakening and you're asking, what is your purpose? Well, instead of 
running here and there and uh, watching videos and reading books and and asking people what do you think and what do you think and what do you think and what do you know and teach me what you know and teach me what you know it's all right there in front of you just have to ask for it it's waiting to give it to you it's not the ringing in the ears it's a uh, feeling I'm, I'm losing my mind that kind of feeling that kind of feeling it's standing right in front of you holding out the cup don't fear take it take it and awaken pick up your sword darling pick up your sword That being said, Merry Christmas, Capricorn. Capricorn. And just one more thing to my email person. Just one more thing. Let me throw something past you here that I want you to think about. Unwrap it real, real slow. Here's a Christmas gift from me to you, darling. There is nothing without, only within. Now, if there's nothing without, that means, what does nothing mean? Nothing. There is nothing without. Nothing. Nothing. Only within. The disciples asked Christ, why do you speak in parables? Why don't you just come out and tell people the way it is? And it's not for them to understand. It's not their time. Your time is coming. It is time for you to understand. Nothing without. Hmm. If there is nothing without, then to you, who am I? If there is nothing without, then to me, who are you? Only the deep will get that. How deep can you go? <laughs> Capricorn. Merry Christmas, Capricorn. Let's go, darling. Let's get a read off to you. Capricorn. Whew. Let me slow her down here. Slow. Slow. Capricorn, what's happening to you, darling? You got some anxiety. What's going on, darling? And it's strange because as I was doing, as I was saying Merry Christmas Capricorn, I was going to do a Capricorn tomorrow. I was going to do a Sagittarius today. And I was going to say Merry Christmas Sagittarius. But I came out Capricorn. And so a reading you must need, darling. So, uh... I can feel anxiety. I can feel all tight in the chest and not breathing properly. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Capricorn. What's going on, babes? Refusing to take a fourth cup? Got three cups. Bored. Bored to tears. Yikes. Now. First three cards. Male or female, doesn't matter. Could be a female. Will you 
looking into the future with a Pisces and things went terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. And the future... The future looks kind of grim right now. Pretty grim. Oh yeah. All right. New path, honey. There is a new path opening, but it seems to be a thorny path, a rocky terrain. This is a new path with a Pisces that seems to be up in swords and hammers and e. okay marshmallow land all up thinking in our heads and nothing's touching ground all up in the head But even in Marshmallow Land, it's even grim there. Even your daydreams, even your fantasies have some kind of a tragic, some kind of a thorny past. It starts off good. Daydream starts off good, but then it ends up It ends up somehow even bad in your daydreams. It's like the reality comes into the daydream and then it says, okay, now you know reality and I, I, I don't know what the hell is going on here, man. I really don't. Capricorn. Slow moving energy. I don't know if this is you or someone that you're dealing with that's, I mean, this, this person is so slow, so slow, they can't even get out of their own way. That's how slow they are. Yee. Well, they might have been slow, but three swords in the heart. They weren't real slow at doing that. Oh. Yeah. We've got the nightmare card. We've got the ten. Oh, I'm packing up my six swords. Packing up my six swords. Taking my nightmares. And getting the hell out of Dodge. Capricorn. Yeah, with the cards surrounding this, I want to say that someone was... Someone might have been fooling around. Now, normally I would say it could have just been like a, a third party, like a friend of theirs getting involved in causing shit and stuff like this. But with the surrounding cards, huh? you know, I, I, I got to kind of believe that uh, someone has been, yeah, uh, someone's been... Jeez, he might be slow, but he's pretty damn fast. They might be slow, but they're fast. You know what I mean? Okay, it just... Uh, now, you you have a wish fulfillment. And the wish fulfillment is... Is your pentacles, your, your life, your... Not so much love. 
not so much your wish fulfillment is not so much love your wish fulfillment seems to be more centered on pentacles stability doing me doing me you know yeah well you know what when you get the marriage card in reverse you know, it tells me that uh yeah um my wish fulfillment is is me singlehood and and getting myself going here and and screw everything else i'm just i'm doing me now this is in the reverse normally it would be drama upright you fighting words and and strife coming up against you but it's in the reverse got no time for the drama I don't want to get involved in the bullshit anymore. I've heard enough. I've seen enough. I'm, I'm doing me. <laughs> Again, over and over, I'm doing me. Well, we have an air sign popped out here. Now, we have a quicker energy. Let me get another card here. Now, I don't know. Capricorn... We've got a quicker energy coming into. I just want one more card. Because I got a feeling. I got a feeling. And I got to tell you, <laughs> darling, I. Holy crap. Holy crap. I maybe need a couple more cards. I got to clarify this. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Could have been dealing with a uh, an Earth sign, air sign, possibly a Pisces. Somebody rushing in. Uh, you know what? There's uh, there's really no reason and no justification in this. Spirit is telling me. Spirit is strong. Spirit is telling me that somebody's going to rush in and say something like, I don't love you. I never ever thought that we were lovers. This is someone that's, that's speaking out of anger. I never ever thought that we were lovers. I, I Never did care. Never did care, but yet there seems to be indecision. And you know what you're saying, or they know what they're saying, before it even comes out of the mouth, that I shouldn't be talking in anger because I'm going to say things like we all do. I'm going to say things that's going to freaking hurt, to hurt the heart. And that's exactly what's happening here. Now, this is either you going to them and saying this, like, I never loved you anyway. You never, you never meant anything to me. But knowing that, knowing that you're indecisive, but the words just pour out. Or them coming to you and saying this hurtful thing. Either way, someone's going to someone with some hurtful words. Hurtful. So... Give yourself a check there, okay? Ooh, okay, big fire sign here. Um, yeah. After those words, after that encounter, and what I see with this hurtful stuff. Now, prepare yourself, Capricorn. <coughs> because I don't see... I don't see, right afterwards, I don't see it's something that you're taking. I think this is coming to you. I think this is someone coming that's that's hurt, that's upset. Maybe you ghosted them. Maybe you're the one that left. And they're coming back with defensive words, saying things. They just want to, they, they hurt, so they want to hurt. They hurt, so they want to hurt. I'm going to hurt. And we have a fire sign. King of fire here. 
and then we have this. Now, if, if this is you, darling, I'm going to tell you, take no note to anything that is said to you because it is not meant. This person is in pain and this person could be this person could be a, just a little bit unwell. A little bit unwell, you know? I don't know if they're having a hard time in life or... And this person could also be a Gemini. Could also be a Gemini. And then there is... After these words are spoken, there is... All of a sudden, you're no soulmate. This is reply. This is you. Because if this person's coming to you and saying this nasty stuff, this is your reply. Number one, you're going to go into hammers. And then it's going to be, I want no communication with you at all. Goodbye. So long. How do you talk to me like that? Not showing the pain, but damn, inside you're just friggin' crumbling down here. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, darling. It's going to hurt a lot. And there will be no more nasty exchanges. This is upside down. There's no more nasty exchanges. But there is residue of pain. There is pain and there is there's hurt. People talk to you like that. Of course it's going to hurt. Of course it is. You'd have to be, you wouldn't be human if it didn't hurt. Three on the wall, one on the floor. We're going to rest. But God help them. They come back again. Jeez, that's all I can say. God help them. I'm ready because now I'm going to open up. Now I'm going to say something. Now I'm going to speak truth. Now I'm going to say it the way it is. And maybe I won't speak truth. Maybe I'll just come up with a whole big mouthful of shit. That's what, yeah. Not looking back on the three cups. Looking ahead. Looking at the two cups. Moving forward. Done. Done. I am done. Looking ahead. And I'm done, and who's coming? Isn't it always the way? Isn't that always the freaking way? I'm done. Goodbye. Talk to me like that. Bye-bye. Who's coming? That ain't you coming. You left. You left for good. You made it known. Bye-bye. Checkmate. You lose. Who's coming? Who's coming? Who is this? Who's coming here? You go, darling. You go. Best thing that you could have done. Best thing you could have done. There's been a long, long freaking time coming. A lot of heartache, a lot of sorrow, a lot of pussyfooting around this person. Pussyfooting. I can see it. Pussyfooting around this person. Walking on rice paper. Afraid to hurt their feelings. Uh, afraid to, to say no. Doing and doing and doing and doing and doing. Probably lending money to and doing and doing and doing and doing. And, and, and why? Why? So that this slow... slow I, I can't get the card out. <laughs> so that this slow moving energy can do that. You can do that. Betrayal. Abandonment. Doing and doing and doing for that. For another person. So that you can run off to somebody else thinking I'm going to sit here and wait for you. Mm. And on the bottom of the deck, not accepting that fourth cup. Okay, Capricorn. Well, it's a hell of a ride, but in the end, you get a grasp of the situation, and you get a grasp of what you want, and you know what you want. You go, darling. Star card. 
amazing. You're going to come out of that just fine. But this person is spiteful. Oh, spiteful. How dare you not be there for me? Uh, they expected you to be there. Expected it. You're going to be there. No matter what I do, I come back, you're going to be there. Yeah, well, you got quite a surprise that you gave them, or you're going to give them. And it's going to hurt. They're going to be nasty. They're going to say some nasty, nasty things to you. But that's all right. You're going to handle it quite well. It's going to hurt, yes. Of course it's going to hurt. Capricorn, let's get her on. Let's get her done. Let's put out a second spread. Get some advice. Tower. You going through the tower right now, darling? At the end of the tower right now? Get the lover's card. Oh boy. Wow. You had a lot of love for this person, darling. A lot of love. You had a lot of love. They betrayed it. Now, in the reverse. That's it. Doing me. Not interested in this moving in together and I wouldn't move in with you. That's it right there. Nope, I'm using my intuition on this one. I think this person might be coming to you with an offer of that. They might be coming to you with an offer. Some kind of a move-in plan to help them. Help them financially. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, not my six swords. Going down to me boat. I'm taking my own friggin' money. I'm getting a hell of a dodge. I don't need you and you're moving in and... Which card? There's a wish fulfillment coming. Yeah, it's uh, pentacles. You could have been dealing with a, a water sign. As before, I showed a Pisces. This could be a Pisces. I see. I see. Cancer, Scorpio, water sign, King Neptune. Another slow energy. Bringing a gift, but slow. Really, really slow. You know what? Don't take it. You take it. Wrong path. Wrong path. Wrong. Don't take it. And here they come again. This is someone. This is I can't live with it with you and I can't live without you kind of a thing. That's what this is. And and this is Strife and drama and bullshit. When they're around, you feel anxiety. You feel, you feel stress. You feel nervousness. You feel they take up too much of your friggin' energy. Too much mind energy. Too much heart energy. That's what this is. That's exactly what it is. <coughs> Decision making time. Time to make a decision, darling. Time to make a decision. Hmm. And this could very well be a soulmate. Or a flame. More cards. 
there seems to be some kind of a, uh, a depression or a, uh, a depression, but a, a lacking. Someone, I don't know if this is a, a lack of money or just a lack of someone has just taken too much too much time too much energy i can't believe i invested so much into this is what is what i see yeah hard on the sleeve <laughs> hard on the sleeve Can't take no for an answer. <laughs> Refusing that fourth cup. You bore me. This is boring. <laughs> this is Pisces. This is boring. Not boring to the others, though, are you? But you're boring to me. I got a feeling. I got a feeling, yeah, there's there's no future with this person. It's not even looking into the future with this person. This is finding things out and then realizing. No way. No freaking way. No way. I am not looking into the future with this. No. This, this is done. Wow. You know what, darling? I kind of wondered, this... Yeah, that maybe this person pretend to fall asleep like when you were passionate or 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 say you know I, I just don't feel myself and you know and no the, the only reason the only reason they didn't feel in the mood they didn't feel the passion it's because they've been very busy they've been very busy Capricorn just I'm, yeah I'm picking I'm walking away from these cups I'm walking away and, and I can just hear you I can hear you three on the wall one on the floor get me sword get me get me uh the spear. Three on the wall, one on the floor. Resting, but waiting. And upside down, no time for the drama anymore. Drama's done. I, I can't keep doing the bullshit. I can't keep it up. And, oh boy, are they ever going to be freaking sad. They're going to be so freaking sad. And they're going to be pissed. They're going to be pissed because they expected you to always freaking be there. Well, hey, checkmate. Time to wake up. Coming out of the matrix. Here it is. <laughs> it's also time that you got your feet on the ground too, honey. You got too much up in the head. Time to ground yourself. All right, find some balance. Ground yourself, find some balance. Okay, that's it. Uh, holy shamoly. Damn. Advice. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Advice when they come yipping and yapping and saying things to you, maybe calling you names or whatever, and and throwing accusations in your face, and because they've been found out. Who cares? Who cares? Walk away. Walk away from it. Close the door. They don't talk to me ever again. I never ever want to talk to you again. I don't want to see you again. I'm moving on. And they, you know, that's what it is. They're scared. What's that card? Yeah. Hey, okay. That, and that's exactly what it is. Because, <laughs> because they know. You're not going to look back. They know you're going to go forward. They know. This is a person who wants to be with you, but they can't. They can't. But something tells me that this person may be confused. Maybe 
the sick, <laughs> maybe a little unwell, just, just a little bit unwell. Do you? There it is. Holy, I wasn't going to pick any more cards. Spirit is like, yeah, do you, darling? Okay. That's what it is. Don't get all wrapped up in words and, and what they think and what others think. And do you. Don't, don't get all wrapped up in that. You know you have the ability. And they, they know you have the ability, which scares the shit out of them. Oh, Jesus. Merry Christmas. Which scares the shit out of them. Because they know that the strength you have, you can move on, and they will lose. They will. Checkmate. <laughs> wow, spirit. Wow. I'm not sure, but I think there's only one read left, and I think that's Sagittarius. If so, that'll be tomorrow night. Well, namaste, darlings. Namaste.